Okay, so if I type in www.canva.com, right, then they will ask me, then they will take me to the Canva page. Okay, I just went into my Canva personal account. Let's just do it again quickly. So I'm going into Canva, right, and I want to sign up. So let's go into And then they will give you the sign up options. Okay. So you can sign up for Canva, right? And you can sign up for free. You can create an account with your email address. I'm sure many of you have created a, or some of you have created a Canva account before. I know back in the day when we used to send out invites for parties that we used to create, um, different invites on Canva, but on the on our personal accounts and on the free version. So here's the steps in front of you to set up a Canva account. So you go to canva.com, you select sign up, right? It's just like signing up for any, any other app, right? Year number two, this is very important. Whether they ask you continue with your email or continue with your work email. Seeing that we want to use Canva for education, I would suggest that you use your WCG Schools account and not your personal account. Um, because when you do sign up, you need to get verified as an educator. And I'm going to show you where I went to because they ask you for every everything. So then you will create your password and then they will ask you to verify by sending you an email with a code. Okay, so just like any other thing, you can set up your Canva account. Um, then with regards to linking it to other accounts, you can link it to Facebook, to Google, to various, various uh, formats. So as you can see here, your Microsoft account, which is your WCG Schools account. And as I said before, that is what I would suggest that you do. Right, so it's going to take some time to do it now. So I wouldn't suggest that you try and register now, but I, what I would suggest is that you make some notes, um, that you type in www.canva.com, and then you go to the sign up option. And once you have gone to the sign up option, you literally just follow all the steps. And then you will be able to register your Canva account. Now, a couple of things, I'm just gonna go to my account quickly. And uh, this is what your homepage will look like once you have jumped on Canva. Right. So to get, if you look on the top of my screen, you'll see design spotlight. Then it will give you different options of what you can design. You get docs, presentations, whiteboards, PDF editors, many different things. Then you get Canva for business. And many people create, if you've seen things online, if you've seen um, things on Instagram, People have created journals, people have created diaries that they sell, and um, even in the stores, you know, this is a lot of the time where they make these documents. But for us, the awesome thing is Canva for education. And um, for me, this is like gold. When I discovered this, this was so amazing because done were the days where I was just creating normal PowerPoints or normal documents on Word. Um, we have a generation today where, you know, everything should be visually appealing to them. <clears throat> it should be interactive for them and it should be fun for them. So if we go to education and we go to teachers and schools, right, if I scroll down, then you will see uh, that by the teachers option, you can get verified as an educator. So let me just explain the steps to you. When it comes to getting verified as an educator, you will click on get verified. They will ask you details about which school are you at, in which area is the school. Then they will ask you to send proof, right, that you are an educator. And when they ask you to send proof, you need to send a letter from your school stating that you are an educator at that school and then Canva will then assess it and then they will approve it. Now, my story, I've probably sent about 10 different documents. <clears throat> Maybe I sent the wrong document, but 
I see in my say certificate, I sent a million different things. But I, what I would suggest is ask your principal for a letter, ask him for proof, and then send that letter through. Uh, so they give you an option to attach it. So I never got approved for the first 10 documents that I sent. And then I sent them a personal message via that same email thread. And I said, look, I've sent everything. What more proof do you need? Um, please verify me. And then they were like, okay, everything isn't here, but we are going to verify you. And boom, there the ball got rolling. So really it's a very simple process, right? Um, in any in your toolbar, you can type in www.canva.com, right? You then go and sign up. And as I said before, sign up with your WCG Schools account because you want to use it for education. And um, then from there, uh, they will ask you to, if you would like to register Canva for education and then you get verified as a teacher. They will ask you all your school's details and they will ask you to upload proof that you are a educator. Now I know there's probably a lot of questions such as what if you're a contract teacher, what if you're per with WCD? What if you you SUB? Um, that's why I think it's important to ask your principal just for a letter stating with proof um, that you are a educator. Okay, awesome. Right. So if there is no other questions, I want to show you some of the designs that I have created. Now, if I'm moving too quickly through today's session, please stop me. Please uh, indicate to me you want me to slow down, you want me to um, demonstrate something again. But as I said, like when I started this journey, everything was literally trial and error for me. Um, it wasn't a thing of, oh yeah, I'm on Canva and now I'm a guru and I'm creating journals that, you know, that I've got my own business. No, literally it was what playing around. And as I said, I want the session to be as raw as possible. So I didn't come in here um, trying to prepare something and being like, ah, oh, when I click on this, it's going to be perfect. When I click on that, it's going to be perfect. Because what you're also going to discover is your template is going to change so much because you're constantly going to be clicking and editing and deleting. And that's probably what we're going to be doing today too, right? So you're going to be doing all of that. And you will see that, you know, you can set up a document in five minutes, but you can set up a document over a few days even if you want to constantly alter and modify the document. Uh, so I want to show you a couple of things. We had a sports day the other day and uh, I had to create a booklet and I was like, okay, I'm not an IT guy, uh, but I'm going to do this because I've got Canva. And I was like, I'm going to show off a little bit of what I created. And here's just something that I created. If you look at this, this was the front cover of our booklet, Aquila High School Sports Day, 8th of September. And these are one of the one of the sayings we believe in. One of our um, quotes: "The eagle always flies above the clouds." What we used to inspire our kids. So the sports day was on netball and football, and we had various different games. And I could create this front cover very, very quickly. And when my principal saw it, he was like, "Oh, Mr. Warren, this is impressive." But you know, I didn't tell him where I got it. <laughs> um, another thing that I created that I can show you was when I had to create the certificates for my learners, right? If you look here, this is one of the certificates I created. So I used the template, but I just added and I built on that template. And when we do the infographic now, we're gonna decide what template we are going to use. Okay, so this is, this is the awesome thing about it. You, you don't just need to use it in your subject. You can use it for your school. I mean, I created through Canva the most amazing certificates. And uh, you have prize giving at your school. You have various things at your school. And when the kids see this, they get super, super excited about, about what you, you know, you give them and what you present to them. So, and I always say, let's always try and give our kids the best. They, de they deserve it, really. Um, so, yeah. So... I'm gonna show you an infographic that I created. Now, it's actually a funny story. So I tutor grade 12 history, right? And um, when I tutored grade 12 history, I always start out with this, I call it a toolkit, which I always prep my history, my history learners for, because I'm going to different sites and tomorrow I'm going to a different school again. 
And when I have to share this toolkit, it's really frustrating because it's not part of the notes that's given to the learners. So I always have to either write it on the board or, you know, I know it out of my head. And I was like, one Saturday morning, I got to the session and the kids weren't there. They were a bit late and I thought, okay, let me just create an infographic on the toolkit, which speaks about level one, level two, and level three, which they can then record. And what I can do in future is I can print it and have them paste it in the books. Right? So literally in five minutes, I created an infographic because all the templates are already there. And if you look at this one, this one says History Toolkit. And uh, one, of, one of Martin Luther King's greatest quotes, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. And here's the atomic bomb. And here's my level ones that I created, um, which is if you, you know, Bloom's Taxonomy and Barrett's, which is name, list, according to the source, uh, just excuse the spelling errors. Like I said, I created it very quickly, quote, extract define and what i love about this is is it's 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 editable um and i'm going to show you when we do our infographic together it is editable and that's the awesome thing about it like i can always go back and edit this because it is saved um here's nelson mandela here's martin luther king this is what i got from canva so i typed in history i typed in iconic figures historical figures and these are the images that they gave me okay so let us start with our infographic okay so as you can see here right canva has many many options right you can do a presentation which we'll do later on you can do an infographic you can do a graph you can do an education infographic right then you have documents if you love Insta, you can do your Instagram stories on Canva. It's now, it will now be premium for you as an educator. Right? So there's so many perks. Um, if your school is a Google school, right? Yeah, you can do a Google Classroom edit. edit. Um, I usually create worksheets for my history learners because I was tired of the old... Um, I don't work at the textbooks, so I create my own worksheets. So, but I was tired of constantly using Word to create worksheets. If you want to write a report at the end of the term, maybe you're an HOD, maybe you're a deputy principal. Um, so yeah, various things. And I'm just showing you this, but we don't have time to go through all of it today. But the important thing is that I want to make you aware of what is on Canva. Here's your YouTube options, your, your video options, educational videos, posters, portraits, everything, education, presentation. So, so, so many things. You can design a newsletter on Canva, right? Um, so these are the suggestions, right? And as I showed you before, these are my recent designs. It always pops up on my homepage. So I don't have to go and look for them. And you can also go into the top right here where it says create a design. Okay, so let's go there. Or we could have gone to an infographic on where they suggested the infographic. So then we will now click on a infographic. Okay, let's have a look. So they give you always a blank page. Now, firstly, we now thought, okay, what do I explain? What is an infographic? And Google gives you so many different um, explanations, right? Most important thing that you realize, need to realize is that is a, it's a, it's a, it's a graphic or it can, could be in the form of a graph. It could be in the form of a table. It could be in the form of statistics, but it's basically a way of sharing important information and if it's something you want to put up in your classroom like i created the different levels so when the kids um, are busy with the activities they can look at that infographic they can look at that infographic poster and they can refer with they will know oh, if it's level one then it's always inside the source all of those kind of things so you need to decide now within your subject, within maybe you are heading up a committee at your school and you want to make it creative and you want the staff to buy in, right? Recently, they made me the safety officer at the school. So I want to create a infographic with all the important, that's what I'm going to do today, all the important contact numbers in the community. As I said, I, I work in Fisantekral um, at a Kila High School. So 
I want to be able to create an infographic that when I put it up, the kids can see immediately, okay, this is the ambulance, this is the fire department uh, that's close by. These are all the important numbers and I'm going to have it around the school. And um, why Canva? You know, and I'm going to show you now why Canva because I remember this guy came to us and I know I'm talking a lot because <laughs> I know you, you're very excited to see what's going on here. But I want to tell you something quickly. A guy came to the school and he's like, he started a business and he wants to put up, you know, an, an advertisement for his business. And he literally typed something out on just the A4 page and he put it up and I said to him, sir, I'm sorry, but nobody's even going to take some time to look at that because it's not colorful, it's not creative, it's not interactive in a sense, it doesn't speak to anybody. And when we look at the templates on Canva, I mean, this really speaks to you. So you can decide, here's one of the, the templates that you can use, right? All various templates. And um, this is one, right? If we go back, we can do this one. Here's another one, these are, all templates that they give you for free okay we go back um let's see some more templates so if you look on my screen you will see that there is a vast array of templates that they offer you and the beautiful thing is that you as a premium account holder you have access to every single one of it if you look at this one for example okay um, did you see the little hat on it when I, before I clicked on it? The little hat indicated that it was only for education. So when you have the, the personal or the, or the free version, sorry, yes, you have access to a lot, but you don't have access to everything. So with education, you have access to everything. I wouldn't have had access to this. And this speaks directly to education, mathematical tools across the ages, right? Um, so, for example, if I'm going to create an infographic, right? So let's say, let's see if they give you these three options. Let's see what happens. Okay. So here's all education. Elements of historical fiction, right? This is one. Yeah. Uh, they give you geography. Oh, this is one of my greatest frustrations in life. And if you're a history teacher or geography teacher, you will understand. They always pair history and geography together as social science. It's like it's time we start standing independently. Um, the theater of history. Right. So the most important thing is not necessarily the information on the template. The most important thing is the template itself. If you look at this, this is, these, this is the, the mind pyramids. Right, this is in Greece, this is in Rome, the Colosseum, this is in China. Okay, so these are all cool things that you can create, right? Or you can use and uh, you can edit. And the beautiful thing about Canva is that everything is editable. Okay, so I'm going to, I thought I'd use this as an opportunity to, um, you know, use this to create for my safety, as a safety officer, my important info and contact details. So this is what the contact details look like at the moment. This is just an example. This is now not on, on, on Canva, right? And um, this is just the important contact details, but it's not on Canva. And honestly, it looks so boring. And nobody's going to look at it and nobody's going to take the time to look at it. So what I decided was, why didn't I create an infographic that I can put up that kids would actually look at? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use exactly all of this information and I'm going to create my own template. Okay, so let's use this one. Now, the nice thing about Canva is that everything is editable, everything on Canva. So if you're going to use it, please be aware of that, that everything is editable. So, as you can see, I've edited the entire document. You see the purple line around here? This means the entire document is now edited. And with editing the entire do document, I can change the background. So if I go here to background color, right, I can change that. I can click here 
and I can change it to any color. Say I wanted the purple. The purple looks cool. Oh, this light violet color also stands out. I don't know if it's violet, maybe it's purple. Um, but yeah, okay, so let's change that. So I clicked on the background color square, right? And make sure you, 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 you're clicking on the background, right? Um, we will get to animate just now. Okay, so as you as I said, everything is editable. Yeah, I can edit these. Okay, and then with regards to your font, you can change it. You can change your text style. You can change it to anything. So I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to put in emergency contacts. Right, so I've edited that. Okay. Um, right. So this is editable. The word communication, the block behind it is editable. So if I delete this, right? So I delete communication. I can insert a text. Now on your left hand side, I want to show you quickly. On your left hand side over here is all your options. You can look at your design as we were looking at right now. You can look at elements. Uh, that's what we were doing now. You can look at your text. Okay. Uh, brand. You can upload from your PC. You can draw. You can look at your different projects. That's where I save my stuff into my projects. And then you can share it with different apps. There's even AI. Okay. So if we are looking at inserting a text box, right? I now deleted that text. So I want to now insert a text box. So it's going to minimize it quickly. Right? And the first thing that I want to type in is police flying squad. So I'm going to say text box, right? Add a text box. Okay, there's my text box and I'm going to say flying squad right. I'm going to move it up into the block right there so now I want to edit my flying squads details and I'm just going to put in a few right now and if you know this you should have known this as a child the details is one oh triple one okay and i'll put your immediate response okay so you can do that that's the first number okay i want to delete this this is really not of course i'm going to delete that image that image too it doesn't add to you know the theme of the day the next one i'm going to go here so the first one was flying squad Okay, so that's nice and bold. So I'm gonna make this too nice and bold. Okay, this is my Grammarly now. I think I'll... Okay, let's see, let's give me the option. Oh, do not magic right. Okay, so this is Bobby Jones and this is, okay. Let's use the same one. You want it to look the same. Okay, this is just my Grammarly that's now testing my words. A different app that's connected to all my apps so i'm gonna make it bobby jones too okay and there we go right now so just similar to a word document you can edit the font you can edit all of the different things right then the next one that i'm going to do is now The next one I'm going to do is ambulance. Let me add a text box. I'm going to add it up here. Right. And in the text box, I'm going to put ambulance. Okay. Then I'm going to highlight it. And then I'm going to make it the same font. Bobby Jones. Right. And then the ambulance number is, oh, it's a long one. Okay, 101, double seven. 
or zero eight six one zero eight four one two four. So as you can see, everything is editable, right? And I'm just gonna do two more quickly, so that I can just show you how I'm doing this. Right, the next one I'm going to do is uh, Crime Stop or Childline. Or well, let's do let's do Water. <laughs> if we have a water crisis, always seem to have a water crisis in the underground. So. Okay, so yeah, water, the details would then be 0860, 103. So this is how you basically editing text, right, 089. So as I said before, there are many other options. You can change many things. And then the last one that I'm going to do is C rescue. You never know. You never know what might happen. So we have C rescue and then I'm going to put in the details. The C rescue is 021 449 B500. Okay. Awesome. So here we have four important contact details. Now I want to still make it creative. I look at this one at the back. I can edit that, I can have that removed, but I want to keep it, I like it, I like the way it looks, right? Do I want to change the color? Let's maybe change the color, okay? So, here's the options, I can change it. Yeah, let's make it all one color, that's green at the back, okay? And as I said, everything is editable. Okay, let's go back to yellow, you know, let's make it green there. Okay, then I look at this one. Let's see the options here. Pink. Okay, that's cool. Right, I'm gonna make this one so pink. So I'm gonna try and make it as, you know, stand out as much as possible. So remember, like I said, be careful what you click because yeah, I'm clicking and I'm clicking on the text, but when I click behind it, I'm clicking on the actual box, right? So that's very important. Okay. Then I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Because I want to keep that color theme going. Straight throughout. I don't know if it looks cool. Hopefully it looks cool. Hopefully you like it. Um, but yeah. That's basically what it's going to look like. Now. This isn't the only options that you have with Canva. And this is. For me, when we look at this, what we did now was we, we literally just edited the text. And as I said, you can also edit the backgrounds, right? Um, we will get to the rest of the things now. So when you want to go into your elements, and this is now the fun part about it. So as I said before, play around. These are elements. I'm going to delete these elements because they don't apply. So this is now, I've edited this template. It is now basically a very, very standard template, right? And, uh, oh, I spelled emergency wrong. Nobody said anything. Okay. So it's a very standard template because I've made it a standard template now, but now I can still add to this template. This is what makes Canva fun. And as I said before, you're gonna create something but you're constantly going to be playing around. And I looked at the time, I literally did this now in 10 minutes. Um, so it can, you know, if you have your information ready, you can really do this very, very quickly. Right. So I'm going to add some elements now. And this is, as I said, this is the fun part. So I recently used these ed uh, elements. Um, so with regards to elements, you can add shapes right if you see the different shapes that we have there you can add different graphics okay so let's go into the different shapes that you have 
as you can see here, there are arrows that you can use. There are squares, triangles, circles, stars. And the nice thing is when you put these in, right, you can edit them. You can put text inside of them, which actually um, is quite cool. So you can decide what you want to do. It's up to you. Really, the world is your oyster on Canva. So let's let's make an example. Um, what do I want to add to this? If I'm looking at, I have CDSQ, Water, Ambulance, Flying Squad. Maybe I'm just going to add a... Um, add a... Yeah, speech bubble. Let's make my speech bubble. I'll change the color of my speech bubble. And the nice thing you see, it's in the background. So I'm just going to change the color of my speech bubble so that it stands out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller. Right? And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to text now quickly. So I added a speech bubble that was one of my ships, right? But I want to add a text and I'm going to add a text box. And what I'm going to put in the text box is, um, hey, <laughs> let's just do hey for now, right? And I can move this and I can put it in inside that speech bubble right okay cool. so i want to make it fun and i want to make it funky right and so what i did there was i literally went to elements i went to my shapes i added a shape and i added in this case a speech bubble right and i then went back to my text and I edited it and I inserted a text box inside that speech bubble. Now I'm just showing you this because I'm just playing around, all right? And that's what you can do. But now we wanna have a look at what else we have on offer. So we have graphics. So let's look at the featured graphics. And I'm showing you these because really they are so cool. Um, I had to create something with food the other day and I just added a whole lot of sushi and different things. So here are different graphics for different themes. <clears throat> right? Yeah, you can say if you're a YouTube content creator, please subscribe to my channel. And those of you that love YouTube. Okay, so there are different features. Right? There's your like button. This means we're going live. This is usually us in the classroom when our heads are painting because of everything that's going on. Yeah, if you want to put the Canva logo on and say, yo, I did this on Canva, you can do that. Right, there's science, there's English. Um, and as I said before, you can do many, many different things. Right, oh, I see something cool. So here is the ambulance. And I'm going to add the ambulance. Let's see, did it go in now? There we are. Well, I didn't even have to search for that one, but here he is. So awesome. I'm just going to move him up. Uh, let me put him here. Boom. There's my ambulance. Okay. So let me go back. So that's just me showing you. This is me playing around now, really. And I came across something that I wanted. Okay, if we go further down, you get gradients and you get stickers. Let me show you stickers. Different things. That's cool. They move which is also fun, um, especially when we do presentation later on, then you'll see when we do the presentation later on, then you'll see how they move and how fun it is. Yeah, it's like if you want to invite your, you know, your significant other to movie night. Um, different things. Ah, Christmas is coming up soon, something you can add. But mainly we want to focus on education right now. And we want to focus on what we can do for our kids. And that is the awesome thing about it. Right. So let me go back. I'm now in Elements, right? And um, showing all the different things. There was the time of coronavirus. Uh, there you have different collections, zodiac symbols, and all of these various things. Okay, so I need something on water. Let's see. Okay, this is drinking water. 
that is splashes different things okay in this instance the tap is appropriate i would have gone for this little guy over here he's also fun but i think in this instance okay maybe i'm gonna go for the guy he's, he looks more fun i think you'd agree with me there okay, let's minimize him quickly and let's just move him over and i'm gonna put him there by water so if we're running out of water then he's here let me move him to this side create some balance and like I said, I'm by no means a guru. This is just me playing around. So every day, when I want to have fun, I play around and I do these things. Right? Okay. So, let us do Sea Rescue. Let's <laughs> see what happens if you type in Sea Rescue. If anything's, anything's going to come up. Search Sea Rescue. Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's cool. So, yeah. This is not me acting, this is really my natural reactions because every time I look for something, it's there and it looks cool. So let's see what's fun. There's help. There is... Is that a buoy? What is that? I don't know. Let's see. Is it on paper? No, it's not a buoy. Uh, there's the life jacket. There's first aid. Um, I'm going to add first aid. I don't know if I'm adding too many things. But you know what we can I can always delete it. So I'm going to add first aid here to the ambulance because I just think it looks cool. And this is my design, so I'm going to have fun with it. Right? Okay, let me go. So see rescue. If it looks like there's too many things going on on this infographic that I've now created, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I can always edit it later. I'm going to add, move it down. Let's see. There's my little boat for sea rescue. Okay, then lastly, we have police. This is a cool band. You can come and save us. Okay, so tell me, what what's gonna look better? What are the kids going to love more? What will they gravitate towards? A uh, normal standard word document, right? Or will they gravitate towards something that is fun and interactive? I think I should add two things. Uh, let's see what else there. It's very hectic. Uh, let's not scare them now. Let's use this little guy. See the, the do you see the education sign? So if we had normal Canva, we wouldn't have had this. This guy's huge. Okay, let's add him here. Let's minimize now. Let's put him here. You know, I always say that you know when we do education, only presenting education to our learners. We are selling a product to them and we all know like if we we are purchasing a product then the idea is we want we want the best so when when we're selling education to our kids and we're promoting it to our kids you know we want them to buy into it we want the best for them and you know especially in this instance like for safety being a safety officer i'm thinking to myself you know what i want my kids to i want them to to see this to look around to be aware of it when it's up at the school nobody must be like oh there was a poster really i didn't even know that because many times you hear that like oh that thing was there oh i didn't even know that because we're not making things creative we're not making them fun and i think we sometimes we fail our kids with, with regards to that so yeah we are just going all out right okay let's add one more we by c rescue Okay, there we are. And who else can we add? Help. Right. So as you can see, depending on how you use this, this is now in the background. When I minimize it, it comes to the front. Okay, so I'm now minimizing it, and you see the smaller it gets, it will now go in front of the other things. If I make it bigger, it goes behind. Yes. 
so gonna put that here it's not behind our words see that that's cool eh so this is an example of a infographic that i have now created for my learners there's the important numbers maybe we can add something else we can add emergency and see what pops up Is this like the, is this the hospital thing? I can't remember. But yeah, I think so. Or let's, let's do this one. Let's make it smaller. Let's shift it up. Okay, so are we happy with our colors right now? Let's see quickly. We're gonna do this. Let's see what's going on here. So gray background. All these things stand out more. Don't judge me. Um, this is like I said, it's just me playing around. And uh, yeah, it's the yellow background. Okay, yellow makes things stand out more. Yeah, and that's what we want. We want it to stand out. It probably doesn't look as cool. Um, let me see if I can edit this thing. So let's... Okay, let's see quickly. Let's see what else I can do here in terms of colors. Okay, and there's my infographic. Now I can animate, right? And the same with a, a Microsoft PowerPoint, you can add different things. So there's the simple, if you want it to be digital, sleek, just scroll down a bit so you can see it, let me minimize it a bit. Right, then you have, boom. So you decide how you want to do this. If you want to put this up and share this with your learners on Google Classroom maybe, and something that they have access to constantly. Maybe you have a WhatsApp group. And this is your way of sharing it. Maybe you want to share it with parents. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> the fading. Okay, so let's add the chill. The chill is slow. But it is there. Okay. So now, the next step is I would like to save this. So, if I want to upload images, right, we can go on Google and we can even insert an image. Um, just show you quickly. So if you want to upload, right, these are things that I've uploaded. This I uploaded straight from my PC. You see here. So I'm gonna just show you again quickly. On the left hand side, I said upload. And um, actually don't wanna make it too busy. Right, if you want to upload a real image, you can go on Google, you can type in the image that you want. Like this I used for party for source recently. You go upload, you go to upload files, right? Then you go wherever and in your, you know, whether it's on your desktop, whether it's saved in certain documents, and then you click on it and then you can upload and it will also, it will remain in your uploaded images, right? So my school badge has remained there, even though I use it previously for something else. Then, um, if I look at this, I want to, let's see, oh, I know we do home, but okay. So let me just go back in here. Okay, so now if I look at my projects, right? These are my different projects that I created. So I want to create a folder. Safety and security. 
Okay. Now I want to. Hopefully I didn't go too quickly there for you. So I went on the left hand side and I went to projects, the fold on projects, and I create a folder. I created a folder called safety and security. And I want to now save this to a folder. So I'm going to save it to safety and security. Done. Save. Done. Now, if I want to share, there are various options. So I can share it as a link. When I first started creating things, I started sharing them as links. I started sharing them in various ways, right? So you can share it as a link, or you can share it on your Google Classroom, or you can download it, right? So I'm going to download it, right? If I download it as an MP4 video, then it's gonna keep give me all those features that it already has. If I download it as a PDF, because I want to put it up in my classroom, it will download then as a PDF. So let's download it as a PDF. Okay, so as you can see here, it's busy downloading. I don't know, yeah, I'm still saved in Mojo and see. And if I go into my PDFs, there it is as a PDF. Okay, and that's awesome. And that's our first infographic. So why infographics? Because we want to be able to put important information up in our classroom. We want to be able to put important information up in our school for our kids to follow. I think that infographic looks super cool. Um, we just created it, so well done. Um, and uh, yeah, now you can go back and you can go and play around with this. Right, so that's firstly the infographic. So this was saved into my downloads as a PDF. I could have saved it as anything else, right? Um, even if you wanted to download, you can go here to download on by file. So the features are very similar to when you're working on PowerPoint, Word documents and so forth. And there is that, that is that, okay. So are there any questions i can't actually so if you if you want to ask something you can you can put on your mic and you can ask me um so that's basically the infographic hopefully it got you excited got you curious right because the next thing we're going to do now is and this like i said last night i did a presentation for the first time that's like yo melissa you're giving me a presentation today i've never done a presentation and I literally just clicked on it and I just played around. And I thought, okay, if I'm going to do a presentation, what am I going to do a presentation on? I'm a history teacher. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to presentation now. Okay. And we are going to look at, we're going to go back to home. And as I said before, they give you various options to try out. And we are now going to click on a presentation. Okay, so. Now, once again, Canva is awesome because they give you various designs, right? Yeah, if you look here, you will see history lessons, story starters, depending on whatever subject. Now let's go quickly to maths, math posters. Your maths teacher, look at all the options that they give you. There's kindergarten. Um, here's geometric transformations, learning strategies. Can we delete that? Let's change that. Okay. Um, so, the uh, notation, okay, I don't know what that is because I'm not a math teacher, but you probably do if you are. This looks like, um, I don't know, this looks like technology. <laughs> so there's various things if you're going to, um, if you go into English, language, right? English tenses, you can add that, right? So as I said, uh, natural, or let's just say science, science, 
is impatience. So usually we, most of the time, and I know, and I know we do this, we tend to use PowerPoint a lot. And I'm a firm believer that you should try out everything. I started trying out um, like the Google Slides because it's something different because the standard is always PowerPoint. I mean, remember when we um, got laptops for the teachers, I told the principal, sir, we can't just have them doing PowerPoint. Anybody can just do PowerPoint these days. Like we've got to stop there. We've got to move away from that. So we got to start using different things, right? Um, so as I said before, to create basically a presentation on Canva, it's new to me because I only had a look at it last night. And as I said before, play around for yourself to learn. That's important. Okay. Because at the end of the day, what Canva, what makes it fun is that it's trial and error. And you can always go back and you can always change it. That's the awesome thing about it. So let's look at the presentation. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do history. Let's see, cold. Okay. Um, is there anything on the cold wall? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Let me see. If I type in history, there's history lessons, history project. Okay, let's add this. But like, as I said, everything is editable. It should be editable. Right, so I'm going to go here. Oops. Now you see now I deleted this. So it's similar. You have your elements on the left-hand side. You have your design that you can choose. This is the design that I chose, right? Your elements, your text, your, um, you can upload. You have your brands, different things. So I'm going to add a text box again. And I'm going to say here. Uh, Old wall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. I should actually go bigger. Let's add to. Let's see. Uh, let's make it nice and big. Okay. Add it into the center. And then what I'm going to do is change the font. All right, I'm just going to play around. Let's see what is cool. I like that Bobby Jones last time that we used. So maybe let me just use it again. All right? I'm going to delete this. Well, I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to add the date in there. Let's add the date of the cold war. I need to now go back. I'm literally sitting here with a textbook looking at the cold war. Right, and I think the cold war started in, and my textbook better be right, in 1941. 1941, right? And I'm going to make that a bit bigger. Same story. Let's make it 64. All right. And this is me just editing the text. Okay, so this is now the start of my page. I want to add some elements into that. Okay, hopefully it gives me something. Okay, so let's add this little soldier because he's a canva for education. So I get the soldier, right? What else do they give me? Let's see all the graphics they give me. Oh, there's a cool tank. Oh, this is awesome. Right, boom, right at the back. I wonder if it stands up. Let's see if we can change. Uh, let's leave that. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Right, then I'm gonna add this little tank up here. So look at all the cool images that they give you in Canva. This is what makes it so awesome. Right, that's my front cover. So the Cold War ended in 1981. Forgot that. Just did that.
and that's my first page like as i said before you can edit anything you can take out the globe you can take out the very ancient paper that looks like papyrus um, you can take out this little part so really everything you can edit on here if you want to change colors you can change colors right you can do anything you would like to do okay so i'm going to add a page now so this was my front cover and now i'm going to go to the bottom and i'm going to oh, let me animate the page quickly so okay it's the one option let's see what else they have okay let's add that All right now i'm going to add a page okay and i'm going to go back to designs right no not that let's delete that one oh, oh no i don't know go back to me undo that okay oh, i see i'm on the wrong one so i'm going to click on this to add right and then i'm going to add the table of contents right so then I'm going to say here, uh, old. Insert the text box. Or let me insert a shape. I'm going to get the shapes. Hmm, I'm not getting shapes. So as I said, I've never done a presentation on here before. Oh, this one. So because I haven't done a presentation, so a lot of things will now be new to me, right? But I, as I said before, everything is just you playing around with it constantly. So I want to add this arrow and I'm going to stretch this arrow out, right? And I'm going to move this arrow up and I'm going to say, Let's make it a bit bigger. Contents. Right. Then if we look at the different subtopics of the Cold War, then we're going to look at the various topics. Right. So we're going to look at number one we are going to look at introduction we can keep that one there then we can do super powers Wait. super powers right and if i'm going to edit this one and i'm going to add a uh, nuclear war coming back to me now arms race Oops. back space race yeah so this is like a lot of admin i i know um but like i said i want you to go around and i want you to play with it so you can you can add constantly um so let's delete these others right and if i'm going to look at this in yeah. okay so let's add some elements into this page so this is my contents page right so if i type in superpowers let's see what pops up <laughs> okay this is what they give us Okay, this is not really applicable to the subject. Let's type in USA flag. Okay. Let's add it in here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so when you're setting up, right, and I'm gonna show you what's really cool is that you can download this and you can actually go and save this as a PowerPoint, which I will show you later on. Um, 
so this will be the start i'm going to build this power point now obviously over time right and it's going to evolve over time and i'm going to try and discover new things but i couldn't spot actually for a second okay so yeah but it's up to you you decide as i said but also try and make it fun and i know like you know at the start of this you might think to yourself yo but this is a lot this is daunting but at the end of the day you know i did a course and something one of the teachers said was so profound uh she said that you know what made me start all of this and develop confidence was the fact that i clicked a button and sometimes we don't even take the time to click the buttons right and we are so afraid to click the buttons and to try out new things and we should definitely not be that way we should definitely be bold enough to play around we should definitely be bold enough to check out new things try out new things because i mean the generation that we're working with today they constantly coming with new things right and um so yeah i'm just adding okay that's not floating space so yeah they give us different things so i'm just constantly trying out new things all the time and for me this is what's making education fun i know you know a lot of the time we're feeling frustrated we're feeling overwhelmed but this is how we make things fun for ourselves right uh, let's say army. Okay, so this is how we make things fun for ourselves, and this this is how we, you know, constantly become creative in education. And this is what we should be doing for our kids because our kids deserve it. If I look at my presentation, here it is. This is the first two pages that I created right now. And with Canva, there are so many, so many options, right? Um, if you look at this, if I add a new one, and I can add that as my background. Th these are just different things that you can do, right? Uh, but you need to decide. You need to decide what you want to do. You need to decide how you want to do it. Let me delete this because it doesn't really apply. And... Um, so yeah, you need to decide what you want to do and how you want to do it. It's up to you at the end of the day. But let's be creative. Let's have fun with what we are doing. Let's animate this page. Let's see what Breathe does for us. All right. So I'm obviously going to add to this as time goes on because I've now started this. And um, I'm going to make it look more fun at the end of the day. But I, I can assure you, this looks so much better than just a normal PowerPoint that we go and create constantly. Because um, the designs are limited, but here you have an endless supply of designs. If you look again at your designs, it's really an endless supply of designs. And um, the options are really, it just seems unlimited. And you can do whatever you want to do with whatever you want to do in education with regards to your designs and your different committees and your subjects but it's up to you and you can play around you can use these as standard templates but you can also use thing, these as something that you yourself can edit by yourself right and uh, but that ultimately depends on you so i'm going to now save this i'm going to save it to my folder I'm going to save it to my grade 8 history workbook. Alright? Okay. As I said before, you can share it or you can download it. So I'm going to now download. Right? Here's the options. PDF standard. Um, PDF print. PowerPoint MP4. Let me save it as a PowerPoint. Download. 
and now it's going to download for me and you can save it on your google drive on your OneDrive, wherever you want to save it but also the nice thing is that everything stays on canva um just with the click of a button everything saves automatically and you can then okay let's have a look at it quickly so this is now the powerpoint that i just created and there boom it saved as powerpoint and there is my powerpoint right so it's up to you you need to decide you need to decide what do i want to do on canva how do i want to to play around with everything my and how phone. do i want to yeah i know is there a question yeah this is a microphone now yeah so canva is a lot of fun and you can make it creative in your school and as i said before when you are on canva you can if i look at this this classroom rules you can do almost anything on here canva for education but I, I, I strongly urge you to go back to to check it out. To It's going to take some time to get verified, right? It could take up to a couple of days to a week. But the sooner you do it, the better. And I would also suggest don't wait because I suggested this tool to many educators and they tell me, oh, what I created was so cool. But um, then I don't see them going and creating it themselves. Right? I don't see them registering and, and, and you know, trying out new things. So it's very important that you do register. You register as an educator, that you register with your WCG Schools account, and you go from there. As I said, the options are basically endless with regards to Hi. what you can create. Hi, um, Hagen. It's Melissa. Hi, Hi. Um, I just wanted to, I'm sorry, I've been jumping no, in, a, in and out here. Um, I just wanted to ask, did you go through sharing and how we can download yes. um, what you just created as a PowerPoint as well? Yes, I did. Oh. So, this is the PowerPoint that I created. We've been saving to my downloads. Um, so, here it is. 